Their forecast for, for this year is that half of all new power built will be solar and three quarters of it will be solar, wind and storage. Wow. So the only, I mean, the really the only thing you can build, the, the remaining of it's mostly gas, but the only thing you can build today is renewables, right? Both because there's a social license for it and also it's just the cheapest form of electricity <laughs> that you can build these days. Um, so if I look at a decade, right? I mean, to meet, setting aside even our climate goals, but to meet our climate goals, we kind of have to continue to double and probably triple and quadruple every year. Um, there's a lot more of this physical infrastructure that's going in the ground. Yeah. And I would say the demand for insurance today kind of outstrips supply. A lot of it, a lot of the insurance is going to London, kind of specialty groups. You know, there's not a ton of dedicated expertise on it. Um, if I look at kind of the other end, which is more ESG broadly, and I put on a little bit more of my maybe like climate activist hat, not that not that I am a strong climate activist, uh, you know, protesting in my in my day job. But uh, when you look at kind of the, the historical nature of that, I think energy companies were targeted first, right? Like, hey, yeah. stop drilling. Let's go protest Keystone XL, which is still happening. But that was really the lens. It moved into banking when I was at Wells Fargo. I worked in the headquarters building. And we were shut down by Greenpeace because Wells Fargo was financing Keystone XL and, you know, the activist network was not supportive of that. Sure. And then I think they figured out, hey, insurance gets renewed every year, right? If you make a loan to Keystone XL, it's a 20 year loan or 30 year loan. Make that decision once. Insurance, you got to redo every year. So, hey, let's go pinpoint that segment. Yeah. And now at, you know, major sporting events, you'll see blow ups targeting insurance companies, blow up air balloons basically yeah. saying stop insuring coal stop insuring oil lloyd's was shut down we're recording this in april lloyd's was shut down last week i think um by extinction rebellion so you know the the social pressure i think to be attentive of the issue and maybe um redeploy capital is happening at the same time right so those injunctions right there so there's kind of the social license to operate and then there's the demand and i yep. think they both are saying esg climate motivated investments are needed and i'd say maybe the third pillar of that stool is we don't figure it out cat losses are only going to get worse and mm -hmm. the entire property business becomes very challenging to operate in right so there's kind of like three maybe pillars to this stool maybe i'll think of a fourth one as we're talking but that to me all point towards the need to get really smart about this space really fast Hi, I'm Jason Kaminsky, the CEO of KWH Analytics, and this is the future of insurance.